if you have them. Sort of like coming home again, but with more un. Yay, Sir Perth. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit that I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? Grey Warden it is then, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor... As Carry on. Okie dokie, so he wants us to go and talk to the lady and get some, um, blessing. But we're not going to even do that because the blessing doesn't even do anything. Because, yeah, I'll just tell you what happens. You go in there, you talk to Mother Hattie, you're like, the knights need a blessing. She's like, the blessing will not do anything because of this. Or whatever, she gives some reason why it won't work and it's just like, well, you're kind of dumb. He's not just gonna drip, like repel blades for you, and then you can go up to them. You can lie and say she gave you her blessing. You are gods now, or you can like go up and tell them that they're dumb. And yeah, so it doesn't really do anything. I hear you got the tavern serving the militia free ale now. While I don't favor my men being drunk come sundown, I suppose it helps morale to have their minds taken off. What's to come? You have, you have my, my thanks. thanks. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. Are you sure? There's still time left if you... No, I'm ready now. We are going to fight. This will be a lot easier <coughs> than before, because I have such spells as Mass Paralysis, which will be lovely. And I'm going to be focusing most of my heals on the um, militiamen, because I want to try and make it so they all survive. Here we are. Glyph of Paralysis. Lol, 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 lol. And so basically, we just have to draw them out because they, like, never want to come by themselves. Come fight me. Stabby stab. Oh, that guy, that guy will get killed by our militia buddies, so it's not really that big a deal. Okay, we need to cast, um... There's a bunch of guys up there. Oh, he's in there immune to that. Who's getting hurt over here? Anybody? Getting, like, significantly hurt? Not really. They're taken care of. And you are dead as well. Okay, now we want Morgan to cast her mass paralysis spell thingy.
Take this, you fools. Stun him. Cliff of Repulsion. Oh dear. Oh well, my archers can just shoot at him, I guess. Alistair can take almost all the damage. Mind Blast. Kill them. And my guys over here seem to have it well under control. Alrighty then. Mass rejuvenation. Oh, now my buddies are pouring out of here. So of course I'm uh, killing these guys. Let's use a group heal quick. Stun him. Dead. Need to kill this guy. Burke was kind of getting his ass beat right there. How am I out my teammates doing? I'm mean, I think I have Morgan cast. Um, uh, there's not that many guys though. It's gonna be kind of pointless to cast it. Mass paralysis is what I was thinking of casting. Now that guy's gonna die in like two seconds. Here, let's cast Poppy Heal on this one. Rawr. There we go, that took care of quite a few of them. Let's just do a quick save while we're at it. See, so yeah, it's not too terribly difficult. You see, nobody's died. Oh, looks like he completed this wave. Because he's like, because I can talk to him now and we can go down. Oh, there's like one more. Big whoop. Let's go. You're gonna die, son. Now we have vanquished them. So we're gonna do a permanent save quick. Just because if I fail down there, I'll probably just might I might consider restarting it for fun. Okay, sometimes they like get stuck way up there, so you basically have to run way the hell up here as far as you can go. Basically just fight them in here. This is another way to make sure nobody dies, though, is to run in here and fight them all at once. Because as long as Alistair's taking all the damage, you saw he was not really getting hurt significantly. That should be all of them now. I think so, because I think it's going to do the cutscene. So now you run down this way. And they're starting to attack from the bottom now. And this is where mass paralysis will become very, very handy. I kind of wish Alistair had, like, um, taunt. That's an AoE taunt, basically. Oh, Jesus. It's not good already. Already they're in trouble.
Who needs health? Anybody? Somebody's gonna need health. I guess I'll cast heal on Murdoch. There we go, now we got this under control. Stab the shit out of them. Okay, so now we've got this pretty well under control. So Morgan, cast the Glyph of Paralysis right there. They really do not like Wynn. Wynn, see if there's any of these guys need health. Oh, this guy needs health. Alistair, you should beat the shit out of this guy. Die, fools. And now Alistair's got this one under control. Die, fool. Okay. Probably shouldn't use that quite yet. I just want to make sure everybody has like full health, it's, like super full health. Whatever. Looks like we're good for now. Kill them all. Excellent. Oh shit, there's this guy way out here. Is he, is he alright? Murdoch is alright for now. But he could definitely use a heal popped on him. There you go, that takes care of a number of these guys. Die, fool. Okay, Morgan's got this, though. Win, cast Mass Rejuvenation. I'm just going to pop this on Murdoch, just so he won't get hurt too much. Everybody else in decent health? It appears so. Let's also cast Master Gymnation with her. Yeah, that scatter shot's really helpful when it's on your side. See, they're all attacking Murdoch basically now. So now Murdoch's gonna need a rejuvenation popped on him. Okay, 
How are we going? We're doing pretty well. Alistair, you can take care of this dude quick. Okay, Murdoch's fine. Ooh, that was a zombie. I'm going to make sure everybody's in good health. Okay, that militia man could use some health. How's Murdoch doing? Pretty good. Everybody's in pretty good condition then. Alright. Die, fools. I think we're almost done here. Dead. Oh, there's a few more coming. Nothing to worry about, though. Let's just go out and engage them. Kill them. That guy is dead. I think that's everything then. And I think we did it without anybody dying. Yeah, basically the only hard thing is, if you lose track of that one unarmored guy here, he gets torn to shreds. If you're not paying attention. Here we go. We'll see if we get the award. I don't think anybody died up top. I don't think anybody died in the bottom. I might have missed somebody that got killed in their corpse Dawn vanished. Arrives, my friends, and all, all of us, us remain. remain. We are victorious. And it is these good folk you see beside me that we have to thank for our lives today. Without their heroism, surely we would all have perished. I bow to you, sir. The Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Allow me to offer you this, the helm of Sir Ferris the Red, my great uncle and hero of Ferelden. He would approve passing it to one so worthy. Take it then, and use it in good health. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now, with no time to waste, meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Okie dokie. Hold on a second, I gotta do something. Okay, back. Just had to, yeah, stuff. Alistair leveled up! Yay! So, I think we just want to give him, I'll give him two more strength and one more constitution. Yeah, because I could get assault, but I'd much rather make him more of a... More of a support tank. He's not really meant to do damage, per se. But now he has Rally, which increases bonuses attack and defense. So now we have more attack and more defense, and that makes Alistair even better tank, because he's hit less often. It makes him hit fat more, it makes my guy hit more. Everybody's just better. And so we rock the house. Nobody died, so we got the Helm of the Red. Which isn't that good except if you come here right away it's pretty good I guess but what's much better from the shale DLC or whatever is the Helm of Honleith so that I can really see no point of using it unless unless you have two warriors in your party and you come here right away and do it but I think that's really hard to do right away because it's hard to crowd control everybody and help your people because really mass paralysis is probably the most useful thing in the game right there apparently there's a house here so we'll go check that out so that's a pretty cool little fight thing they got going on. Managed to save everyone. 
really wasn't that hard now that it's all on. Okay, go to Zen Nightmare. Because it felt really easy. I want to make sure it wasn't like on easy like it was last time for some reason. Although I didn't remember ever putting it on easy. Got some experience. Who's close to leveling? I'm here I am. Really, my guy's the closest and he's not even that close. Yes, what can I do for you? I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Blast. I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. Oh, I haven't been to the alienage yet. You don't get there for a while, so... <laughs> that quest is not getting done for a little bit. Well, actually, I'm pretty close to... Completing this first section of the game, really. Actually, I think it's like first section is up to Ostagar, and then when you start gathering the armies, actually I say first section is up to Lothering, because then after that you get free reign to go anywhere. Then I say second section is this what I'm doing right now, gathering the armies and stuff. And third section would probably be the aftermath of Garvit gathering the armies, which we shall soon see. Let's see, what Mr. Perth has to we say. We've been victorious beyond all expectations. Surely the Maker smiled upon us this day. I will remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. At least until the castle is retaken. Exquisite. Knight Commander Harith, what do you have to say? Move along, friend. Thank you. Alrighty. Nothing to say. God, how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan to enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Perhaps I should have gone into the castle earlier, but I could not leave the villagers. Maker's breath. Tigan, thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolde, you're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Soul, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tigan. <gasps> Bless you. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isol, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. 
Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. He sold me and anyone else. We are expendable. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, we have enough time to go in here and stuff. So, we're not going to be able to assault the castle in this episode, but next time, Very well. we will do it, and it'll be awesome. Of course, Bond just interrupt us. I think I have like a bajillion letters now. As you see. Here's a secret passage. But yeah, make sure you get that letter I just got now, because if you forget it, I don't think you can come back. Because I tried to come back, and I could not figure out how to get it, bef like, later. Because you need it for that one favors for certain interested parties. They want the, all the letters for some reason. Get away from me! Oh my god, it's corpses. They aren't even that hard. Really, these guys are a lot harder when you come here earlier. Destroyed. Hello. Okay, we'll Who's do this there? and then I'll stop it. Is there anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? There's a tunnel? Then why hasn't anyone in the castle used it? We could all have escaped by now. Hmm, curious. None of this makes any sense. Not that anyone cares much what I think. My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh, threw me into the dungeon here. You don't know? I thought everyone knew. I poisoned all Eamon. I'm not proud of it. The Arlesa had no idea what I was hired to do when she took me in to tutor Connor. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. You probably shouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd plead for mercy, but... I'm not sure I deserve it. I'm not sure. I think they intended to come back for me. But the screams, they just got worse. And nobody came. Lady Isolde was looking for a mage to tutor Connor's secret. Terran Loghain found out and he sent me. I was to use the opportunity to poison the Arl. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelda. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malificar. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. Ah, uh, I thought you looked familiar. I had thought you... dead. Hunted down by the Templars. I guess you might have been told that. I was in hiding when I was caught. But instead of killing me, Loghain made me an offer. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow. I have to! Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the Circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. 
With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Son, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. Jowen has good intentions, but a blood mage? I... I find it difficult to trust his words. I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. I... Well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. I'd stay and try to help if I could. Perhaps I can help deal with whatever's been unleashed here. I'm glad you think so. So what now? You're letting me out? And what then? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Alistair disapproves, but Morrigan disapproves. I kind of did that to balance out what happened before. <laughs> and I still got a net gain of two approval. Alistair, I just need to get him up to 90, and he's getting pretty close. If I can find some more gifts, it'll go up fast, but... Whatever, we're done for now, so we freed Jowen. By the way, he is also in the Mage Origin story, so if you... Do the Mage Origin story, you'll find some unique little doohickey conversation things with him. And yeah. Also, I think Wynn is in it. But whatever. So next time, we will take back the castle and all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys then.